So last night in the cool evening air, I uh, was taking a walk around the garden, admiring these agaves that, uh, I talked about these before, I rescued them from the bulldozer. I like the color and their character, but uh, they are really susceptible to gophers. Apparently it's caviar for gophers. And the first sign of a gopher problem with it is the leaves will drop. And sure enough, last night I find this little pup here where the leaves are just falling away. And as uh, you pull them away, you find that the root is completely gone. The gopher has completely eaten the root of this thing. So it's pretty frustrating to see, you know, what could be a beautiful plant just disappear. But I go back to my old adage about we'll just plant enough for them too. So I keep hoping I can get the pups out there. Another weed that was causing me some heartburn last night is one that reminds me of Daffy Duck, of all things. This is called the Scarlet Pimpernel. Um, it's from Europe, and um, back in the, the early 1900s, there was a play that was written called the Scarlet Pimpernel, and it was takes place in the um, during the French Revolution, and a swordsman uses a, the drawing of this flower to leave as his calling card. Um, in the 50s, I think, or 60s maybe, Daffy Duck had a, uh, a parody of it called the Scarlet Pumpernickel. And um, it, um, uh, anyways, it, this little flower is named after that, that, that flower there. Um, it's short, it's mildly toxic. Um, the flowering will probably stop in July and then it goes to seed. So you gotta get this out of the ground before July or you're gonna have more of it. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it's toxic to um, uh, livestock and, and pets that might eat it. Um, so get it out of the ground. All right. With that, be safe and be well.